When you think of the sportswear manufacturing industry and brands that dominate the scene, a few brands come to mind, ranging from Adidas, Nike, Puma, Asics, Reebok, amongst a host of others. Each has maintained its spot at the top of the sportswear chain. They have both created pieces that can be worn in our ever-changing urban world, termed luxury, and said to be comfortable and durable. They have created timeless designs that are still worn and revered up to this day. Puma and Nike have checked all the boxes of comfort and luxury, and like every force and brand thriving in the economy and the world, comparisons will always be a thing. A motivating factor to do better and understand their weakness and capitalize on their strength. We would pitch Puma vs Nike against each other. A healthy comparison to better understand the two brands. With its headquarter in Herzog Norwich, Germany, it's currently known as the third largest sportswear manufacturer. Puma was born due to a family feud between the founding fathers of Adidas, Eddie Dassler, and his brother, Rudolf Dassler. They both worked together for 20 years before they went their separate ways. The feud created a split that birthed Puma by Rudolf Dassler. Rudolf Dassler, one of the brothers from the defunct duo, began to gain prominence after his successful contracts with professional athletes. As of 1962, he had started shipping to countries worldwide, and Olympians and athletes wore his shoes at World Cups. Puma has retained its reputation for creating stylish products that have more urban looks, positioning the brand as one that's invested in younger generations due to how fashionable they appear. In 1996, Puma recorded significant success in its apparel and footwear products. It began influencing other aspects of the sport with the help of Linford Christie, who wore a creative contact lens with the white Puma cat on his pupils during a press conference at the Olympics and Games in Atlanta. Puma diversified by entering into the fashion industry, creating and retaining its spot at the top of the chain. Situated in Beaverton, Oregon, United States, Nike was once called the winged goddess of victory. It is a sportswear brand that has stood the test of time with its sheer determination, commitment for comfort, creative innovation, and putting sports lovers at the forefront of its designs. Nike Inc. wasn't always known as Nike at its inception, but it was initially called Blue Ribbon Sport when it was founded in 1962 by Philip Knight, a Stanford University graduate and a former track runner. With the help of his former coach Bill Bowerman who sold shoes for Onitsuka Tiger Co. Who are presently known as a six in 1965 from the trunk of a car. With this, Nike Inc. was born. The soul, which was called Chicken and Waffle Waffle, gained ground, and this increased the demand of the footwear by football lovers, helping them move from the back of their trunk to their first retail space in 1996 while parting ways with their former employment with Onitsuka Tiger Co. A six. The Nike has stayed through to its sporty and ever-changing and groundbreaking creativity over the years. Due to their seamless track record over the years, Nike is the better creative manufacturer, the one that creates luxurious and innovative sportswear that is both functional and sports-ready because they have been able to leverage technology and evolve with the times. In 2010, Nike reduced its carbon monoxide footprints and began recycling old shoes and making use of plastic, helping to decongest the ecosystem making them an environmentally conscious brand. On the other hand, Puma is more of a brand that panders to the daily life of individuals. It combines comfort and fashion with technology but at a more relaxed and slower pace. Due to its affordability, in the 2006 World Cup in Germany, 11 countries out of 32 countries wore Puma jerseys, making it a brand that's more in tune with demand and the end user's income than creating luxury. Nike targets consumers within the range of 15-45 years. It targets both men and women athletes and equally targets teenagers. This is in a bid to build long-term relationships between sellers and end consumers. Nike targets their consumers through their personality, interests, and appeals to their fashion sense by creating ever-evolving designs fitting their demographic and sporting interests. The brand is more of a luxury brand that appeals to high-income earners. Nike has adopted the geographic segment in a bid to enter developing markets in the world, thereby driving sales in exchange for customer satisfaction and selling quality products. While Puma has two target groups, the primary within the age range of 15-30 years and the secondary, which is within the age of 7-35 years. When pitching Puma vs Nike against each other for comparison in the area, who creates luxury products, Nike easily comes out as the brand that sells sportswear at a higher price irrespective of location language, or person, athletic or not, while still giving value and being lightweight and durable. On the other hand, 
Puma is more income-friendly, gives value despite being cheaper than Nike, and offers durability and affordability. When you speak of comfort and durability, both shoes are comfortable and durable. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.